So in this building, we are utilizing uh, two sorts of solar energy systems. First of all, we have so-called integrated solar heat collectors on the roof. The purpose of these collectors is to collect the heat from sun rays and then we transfer the heat to the water tank or if the capacity is exceeded, so then we load the ground heat well with the solar heating. So when we do that, so then we can pretty much pump up the heat back when we wish and then also in the dark times we can utilize that solar heat for the house heating. Secondly, we also utilize uh, a solar electricity system, so that's integrated on the facade. Then when the sun is shining, so then we produce direct electricity for the use of the building. So there are two, two kinds of applications here. Solar power is because basically the amount of solar energy we get from the sun is, is like huge on a daily basis when the sun is shining and it's a um, endless limited source of free energy. When we have this uh, modern uh, building integrated solar technology available, so that's always when the sun is shining, so we can really harvest that energy and put it to real use in the building context. The architect can use the construction of the building on the building so that we can use the rain in the public space to get to the optimum. Aurinkosähkökerään on korkean teknologian tuote. Se on hyvän näköinen, se on kestävä. Siinä on hyöty hinta laatusuhde korkea. Primary energy based energy performance assessment it allows flexibility. In the case of highly energy efficient buildings, it's very difficult to specify requirements for specific components or systems. So it's much more easy to set the target for the end result. And this is uh, very flexible with primary energy. So it means that in every building project, the best available solutions can be used and the most cost-effective solutions can be selected for this specific project to achieve required primary energy level. Nearly zero energy buildings or zero energy buildings in the future, it is the only way how the energy performance uh, can be regulated and this is already required by the directive. So this is the way all the European member states are using today.